while since we've seen you play. Last, yeah. I think the last game I saw you was Taft Notre Dame. What's it feel like when you get, you know, you got, you're getting your legs back under you? What's it feel like, you know, to have Coach Lane Kiffin say that of all the players he's excited to see, you're the first name he mentions? Uh, well, it feels good because, you know, it, it makes me feel like the coaches have confidence in me. And that makes me have confidence in myself that if they believe, then I should believe too. And it makes me want to come out here and work hard and prove myself. Okay. And with the knee, is it just kind of a mental thing getting over, you know, the cuts and everything? Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a mental thing. You got I'm, I'm trying to get used to being able to plan on it and make sure it's secure. But, you know, I'm just worried a little bit. But as the season and the spring ball goes on, I think I'll get more comfortable and be able to plan on it more. Okay. And you've got a lot of guys ahead of you out of the way now. I mean, you've got C.J. Gables gone, Alan Bradford. Yeah. Um, talk about that opportunity, really, with just Mark being the only senior and the backup spots, really, you know, where the split time role is still open. Well, last year I was, you know, nobody wants to register or sit out a year, especially if they started their whole life. But as the season went on, I just took it as a learning, as a learning opportunity. And now this year I have Mark in front of me, and uh, I'm actually the last guy right now. But you know, I take it as a challenge to work my way to the top, starting from the bottom. And how do you think you guys complement each other? Uh, I think we're going to complement each other good because he's big and he has good feet and he can he can run people over. And then if I come in, I'm, I'm fast, but I'm also strong. So they might be thinking they're going to get a speedy guy and I can put my shoulder on somebody and lay the hammer too. What percentage your knee right now? <coughs> uh, I say my knee's about, it's in the 90s. It's not even 100% yet, but it'll be there by the, by the time the season starts. Are you a little uh, maybe hesitant or tentative, uh, not knowing you know how it's going to uh, respond before you go 100%? Or what will what, be the indication when it's ready? Uh, well, you know, it's like before the play starts, you're in the backfield, like, all right, thinking about it. But as soon as the play starts, you just think about going. I'm just thinking about trying to make a touchdown and, or making my block or whatever. I'm not even thinking about my knee. What's the feeling like starting you know, this year, being able to come out here first day of practice and you know, get going with the team? It feels good, you know, getting my body back in football shape because I've been running track, and so I'm in two different shapes. So I'm going to be doing both during the spring ball, and by the end of spring ball, I'll be in really good shape. You tired this morning waking up at 5.30? I guess you have to be in there at 5.20 for taping. <laughs> I mean, nobody wants to wake up at 5.20, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. That's part of the deal. All right, thank you. What aspect of your game is Kenny Pola on you the most about improving? Um... Well, you know, every coach, they, they're, they're big on protection. So probably my protection and just learning the offense.